Okay, here we are back at Lake Town for part four of this little series. Uh, I did not correct as many things as I could have last time because I was still feeling a little overwhelmed by everything going on. But there were definitely some problems. I'm sure some of you saw them and wondered why the heck I was just leaving them. Uh, so let's fix some of them right now. Let's do the dumbest one first. Look, it's telling me right there. You have screwed up. Not that I did anything about it. Okay, so, you know, maybe people will use that road now. Alright, so then, the next thing is that I have a couple of places with this kind of interchange where I'm coming off of one of the highways and I come down onto a road, and I thought this would be more practical but I was really, really wrong. So we're going to fix this. There's actually a couple other places that do that. One of them is over here, but it's not super busy, so it doesn't really hurt anything. I'm sure that's where I picked up the bad habits from, is uh, things that were acceptable in not super busy places. And then there's a really quite terrible one right over here. Actually, this whole area is kind of a mess right now. But this backs all the way up out onto the ring. And it's got that exact same kind of interchange that's a problem. Now, I don't know if I can make this work quite as cleanly as I want. But um, we're going to start on the... Yeah, let's start over here and see what happens. So, um, if you're curious, uh, I loaded this thing up without the infinite money on, and um, I'm at negative $10 million still, so that's fun. Probably get away with that. Okay, straight road. I would like to put this in. Yeah, we'll even make it nice. Actually, let's do this one other little thing here. Okay. Yeah. Make that even a little nicer. There. See what that does for us. We'll come back. Let's do this over on the other side. Wow, that is just terrible. just industrial, so I don't really care if it's pretty or not. Alright, let's see if that makes us any kinder at all. Wow, that has really confused some people. And we can speed that up just a little bit. I kind of feel like three lights going would be better, but okay. This part where it just kind of sends both of them into each other, don't know what that's about. And you know, part of the reason for this being so congested here is this. this this is a huge area of traffic, and, well, it's not even that, really that huge, but it's pretty big. And people that are coming from all the way over here, well, they can get onto it from that side. But, in any event, all of this stuff 
it's got to come on to the main roads from here. A lot of this stuff is doing the same thing from here. Um, this interchange doesn't really connect directly to this. So I might be able to get rid of some of that congestion but just by creating a few more connections out here. Let's see how that goes. Let's just start with the simple way in right now. Alright, that'll be an unpleasant interchange. I think I have no trouble saying that they will fight there. But let's see what happens for now. Maybe what we'll do is we'll bring one down from here and out and under and let this also connect with it. There might be enough room for that. Because you see, now I've got this cross right here. They don't like that. Hey, this can get under there. Okay, so and then we'll reverse that direction. All right, that'll prevent that crossing from happening. These guys are all quite confused, but they'll figure it out. And then let's do from right here. I don't know if there's enough room to make that corner, but we're going to try it. That should be nicer. Oh look, and this actually is a lot more pleasant than it was. So that's already making a difference. That's very positive. Now I could bring someone up from here, up to here maybe? But we'll leave it alone for now. Yeah, they got a way down into there. There's really not a great way into here, except through this. But for the most part, I'm okay with that right now. All right, let's go back and see how this nonsense is going. Oh, hey, look at that. That cleaned that right up. That's beautiful. I like it when things work. That is just so much nicer now. All right, so then we got this area, and this is deep red. This is just a lot of congestion. So I originally built this area under the belief that putting these little highway areas in here would prevent these from being annoying intersections. They would just be able to merge without any kind of hassle, but that is not what happened at all. So, what I am considering doing is making this a diverging roadway completely. Making this two directions since it doesn't seem too busy. And then all of the traffic going this way just shouldn't have any reason to stop at all. It should just flow. That isn't necessarily going to help me enormously out here, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So, let us start with... Um, reversing this. 
and let's make this two lane, well, two direction. Now it still might be an issue. Let's make this a six lane one way road. So they got some more lanes to think about. So maybe more people can just go this way without a bunch of crap. And then these... Why are so many people wanting to turn right there? That's really what it comes down to. I do have two bus lines that I think make stops here. In real cities, having a bunch of buses that come to the same place is often good. But in city skylines, it just messes things up. So I am inclined... Let's just see. Bus. None. Three, six. Bus line 33, bus line 30, 33, 30. So remember, and there's no reason why you should, remember when I went and increased the uh, funding for some uh, bus lines? Well, now we're seeing the price of that. So, um,. Let's drop this down just a bit. By just a bit, I mean quite a lot. Let's see if we can stop this nonsense from happening. Because that's clearly a big part. I mean, look at all these stupid buses. That's ridiculous. This one has 20, and for the most part, it doesn't need that at all. Let's drop that down. Alright, I don't usually play with bus line numbers, but I think it's time I learn. Okay, still, still that change made an enormous difference for what's happening here now. I mean, this is just so much nicer than what it was. I might just go ahead and make this a six lane road as well. Because clearly it's not really helping anything to just have that a three lane. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, they're not getting traffic lights through here at all. They are treating this as exit lanes. So, that cleaned up that nonsense. That's a good number of victories to start with. Oh yeah, just look at that. That really cleaned that up. Alright, what other horrible things are going on? We have this, because I made that a one lane, or a one direction road. But I don't think that's really that bad. Sure, it's red, but... It's not red, red, red. It's just red, red. Alright. That ring's moving smoothly. 
practically no one uses this road anyway. It's a little surprising. But this is mostly a low density area, plenty of commercial stuff here. Just isn't a lot of need for them to go that direction, I guess. Alright, so this this little series has always been a problem. And that is there's just a lot of demand for this. Cargo hold. Cargo uh train area. But, I mean, it's just feeding them in as fast as they can, and it's not backing up off of the road. So I don't know of any way to make that better. I had already added this on from my uh, 30,000 growth section, uh, because before, when they would just come out here, this whole area would just get enormously backed up. But, a lot of traffic wanted to go that way, so that made everything better. But one thing I could do is have another line come all the way across and onto that, but that still doesn't fix the main problem, which is the backup on this side of the train. Which isn't so bad now because it's nighttime. Alright, that's all good. Uh, I wanted to check sewage. Oh, yeah. It's not good. Oh, no. Man, the river's flooding over here again. Maybe it's all the uh, sewage discharge lines? That's pretty unpleasant to consider. That is very unpleasant to consider. Yeah, those are just trains that um, pretty much need to uh, run through hopefully well-treated sewage. Oh, and that one got stuck. Alright, let's fix that. Just go ahead and hold. Well, that's better. Ooh, and I got flooding working on trying to come in over here. That's no good. But it's basically okay. Well, that's unpleasant. Oh, you see what that is? That's another one of those same kind of intersections. That, unfortunately, is going to be very hard to deal with, because there is not a lot of room to get that elevation up. What I could do is maybe bring this down to another spot. Maybe bring it all the way over to here? That doesn't seem terrible. Okay. That could be a little less ridiculous. It's fighting me at that end. Well, that immediately fixed that, didn't it? Alright, so... That uh, sort of diverging V intersection? Terrible idea. Just terrible. Alright. Well, there is a bunch of problems. There's a bunch fewer problems. Maybe next thing we'll do is try to enhance uh, some of this. You know that deep in my heart I still want to put a uh, tram line going across the lake, so maybe we'll do that next. Thank you for watching.